we bring you this delicious low-carb fat bomb recipe to introduce you to the ketogenic diet and the custom keto program. Let's do a quick overview of what keto is and what keto does. First let's compare the keto diet to the standard American diet. On a macronutrient level the keto diet is roughly fats 70 to 75 percent, proteins 20 to 25 percent, carbohydrates 5 to 10 percent. On a standard American diet, macronutrients break down to fats 20 to 35 percent, proteins 10 to 35 percent, carbohydrates 45 to 60 percent. On the standard American diet, the body converts carbohydrates into glucose as its primary source of energy. It uses insulin to bring the glucose into its cells. The glucose that is not used for energy stays in the blood, which can lead to diabetes. Or it gets deposited as fat. On the low-carb keto diet, the body goes into what is called ketosis. It is now fueled by fat not by carbs. This is because carbs are no longer available. The fat fuel comes both from the fats you eat and also from what has already been deposited as fat within your body. Just to be clear, let's restate all that. The ketogenic diet is one that is high in fats and low in carbs. The relative absence of carbs puts the body into a metabolic state called ketosis. This means that the body produces ketones out of fat and uses them for energy, since carbs are not available. Keto shifts the body's metabolism away from carbs and towards fat and ketones, in a nutshell, keto uses your fat for food. And that is how you lose weight. But what people fear about keto is that the meals are going to be boring and not sustainable in the long run. Nothing could be further from the truth. Here is an example of a delicious low-carb fat bomb recipe of the type that you will find in the custom keto program. You can find the recipe ingredients, directions and macros in the description below. Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to my channel. I am making a dessert, guys. So this is something that rarely happens in my world of the kitchen, but David does have a sweet tooth, guys. I am getting ready to start a 30-day challenge and hoping that this will not blow it. I am going to be using the organic stevia blend. It has erythritol and stevia, so I should be good. We'll wait and see. Anyway, the first step to this recipe is melting two ounces of chocolate. I am using Baker's unsweetened chocolate, 100% cacao. Check out the macros over here, guys. It's four grams of carbs, three of them being dietary fiber, so one net carb for how much? Two pieces. So I'm gonna be using two, four, six, eight pieces. Of course, this is for an entire recipe. Also, guys, eight, an entire eight ounces of Kerrygold butter. All right, so let's go ahead and get this going. Where is this going? Where are you going? We're going to our plate where we've already started melting our butter and now our chocolate. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that melted and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've got my butter. I actually have cream cheese in there too, as well as the chocolate melting. And I'm getting ready to add in the peanut butter. Let me show you what I'm using, guys. I got this at Walmart. Actually, came with a $2 coupon for my next purchase of anything by Marinatha. And this is no sugar or salt added. Almond butter, creamy, and the carbs were pretty decent on this, guys. Seven grams of carbs, four of those being dietary fiber, so three net carbs. And here are the ingredients. Pretty clean, guys. Again, purchase this at Walmart. All right, guys, so I'm about to measure out one cup, and off to the stove we go. All right, so here's what our mixture looks like, guys. If it looks like it's separating or that the cream cheese hasn't fully melted, don't worry. Right, we're gonna put a blender to this, or if you have an emulsion blender, that will work too. Um, I got this recipe from Mitch. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. And yeah, I'm excited to try it, Mitch. You made it look so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up and we'll be back. Okay, guys, so what I've done is in this container, I have added one cup of my organic stevia blend. And guys, one third cup of 100% unsweetened cocoa is about to go in here as well. All right, so I'm gonna mix that around just a wee bit. Let me get this mixed, be right back. So in here again, we have our butter, we have our baker's chocolate, our cream cheese, and our almond butter, along with a quarter teaspoon of almond extract and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And now this will get poured into the dry mixture and we'll start blending away. All right, guys, and now let's dump away. Look at that yumminess. All right, let me get the bowl cleaned up 
and uh, we'll continue in just a second. All right, guys, so let me tell you, for a while, this was looking scary there. It was very granulated looking. And so I went and looked at Mitch's recipe, and sure enough, he said, if it doesn't look like it's mixing well, add a little bit of heavy whipping cream, and that'll get you to where you need to be. Now, he uses an emulsion blender, which really zapped the heck out of this. And I thought about putting this in my um, Ninja, but you know what? I'm, I'm kind of liking the consistency here, guys. I think it's going to be fine. And what I might do with this, guys, is put this in a Ziploc bag and funnel it into the containers that I'm using, which I will show you momentarily. All right, guys, so here's the containers I'm using. You saw that I got these at my lovely Aldi's. It was, I think, $1.99 each. So I have one sprayed, one not. I'm gonna figure out which one works. I'm thinking because of the oil content, I really don't need to oil this, but we'll see. And so then I went ahead and just dumped the entire mixture into a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna go ahead, cut this corner off, and we'll go ahead and squeeze it on in. Hey, Daisy. All right, guys, so it's working fairly well. And then when I'm finished with this, I will just go ahead and um, take a knife and just kind of smear it across and see if I can get it leveled out. All right, guys, so here's basically what I did. I got the chocolate in there, and I, then I just kind of took a spatula and evened it out. And then after you even it out, you're just going to kind of pound it a little bit you know, onto your countertop just to kind of get it to settle. And where there's low spots, I can just add a little bit of more chocolate. All right. So gonna finish this off and then off to the freezer we'll go hey guys it's been two hours and check it out they're frozen they're ready so guys I went ahead and just went around the edges of this one. Oh my goodness guys oh that looks good I grabbed this little piece that fell off and give it a taste wow Mitch, 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 keto with Mitch, keto with Mitch, Mitch's keto way of eating. I don't know if I told you guys, but I got this recipe from my friend Mitch, who I met when I first started YouTube, and he is also following keto, and wow, Mitch, you didn't die, buddy, this is good. Let's go ahead and cut through it, see what it looks like, cut through. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it, guys? Another bite. Mmm. So I think what I would do is actually add the sugar to the chocolate mix on the stove, as well as maybe upwards of a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. See if it can melt that sugar so it's not so granulated. And that would probably be what I would do differently, and this is going to work out wonderfully. I am going to tell you that these are really large blocks, so it comes with 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, so those 30 pieces, and I would consider this piece to be too much for me. So I would think that this piece is actually closer to at least two servings, maybe three. However, if you love and miss your chocolate, this might be perfect for you, don't know. I bet this would be perfect for David. I'm going to go ahead and list it as 30 servings. And, uh, yeah, guys. Hope you enjoy. So we can see that the keto diet can actually be delicious. But now, let's return to the custom keto program. This is an eight-week meal plan designed by nutritionists, personal trainers, and chefs. Custom Keto will also coach you on the healthy eating habits to adopt after you have completed the eight-week program. Custom Keto is the recommended, done for you, option. Custom Keto is an eight week meal plan based on the experience and expertise of nutritionists, personal trainers, and chefs. It is a diet optimized for you personally based on your own individual and ideal calorie and macronutrient intake. It designs delicious meals based on your own food preferences. It comes with options as to how you can further customize your meals. It is a meal plan with plenty of variety. You get clear, step-by-step -step instructions. 
you get downloadable grocery lists. There is no guesswork in Custom Keto. Nothing is left to chance. Let's take a peek inside. First there is a video library containing an A to Z of the ketogenic diet, introduction to keto, what is the ketogenic diet, benefits of the ketogenic diet, keto diet and blood pressure, what to eat on a keto diet, how the keto diet works for weight loss, keto diet, getting started, keto recipes, keto tips, hacks and conclusion. And then in PDF format, we have, day-to-day -day recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks, shopping lists for each week, 11 cookbooks, portion sizes, options to swap out meals that don't appeal to you, nutritional breakdown of every recipe and meal, a list of recommended supplements, and lists of ingredients plus links online if you have difficulty sourcing them locally. Aside from weight loss, let's look at other keto benefits. Keto can boost mood and reduce depression. Keto reduces the frequency of seizures in people with epilepsy. Keto supports cognition. Ketones are a better brain fuel than glucose. Keto can prevent, manage and even reverse type 2 diabetes. Keto improves physical performance and body composition. Keto helps with acne. Keto can prevent and even fight some types of cancer. Keto improves blood cholesterol by raising, good, HDL and lowering, bad, triglycerides. Keto will lower blood pressure for most people, Keto improves insulin sensitivity. But Keto without help is hard. It is not easy to implement. It is not easy to balance macro proportions of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. It is not easy to come up with balanced meal plans. It is not easy to figure out your calorie intake. It is not easy to track your progress. But it is easy to screw it up. It is easy to waste a lot of time and effort. And it is hard to know where to start. This is why Custom Keto is the way to go for people who want to go on a keto diet. At only $37 for the entire program Custom Keto is very low cost. And Custom Keto comes with a 60-day money-back satisfaction guarantee. So you can road test the program risk-free for its full 8 weeks. Click on the link in the description below. You'll be glad you did. You have nothing to lose but your weight. Well, that's it for this video on the Custom Keto Diet Program. Thank you for watching. And do check out the link in the description. You'll be glad you did. Also, you can click here for a recent video or a related playlist. And please subscribe to our channel and hit the like symbol below. We really appreciate your support.